Um, I'm here with Nia Griffith at Clannach Hall, and uh, Nia has been holding a meeting here this evening. Nia, what was the meeting about? Well, actually, what I do, and I have been doing for a while now, is that I invite members of the public in particular areas, so we go around the constituency to different areas each week, um, to come to bring ideas or problems to me at a sort of coffee evening and surgery. And by absolute coincidence, we'd already booked the hall and sent out letters for this particular event tonight before all of the issue of Park Howard blew up. So I realised straight away that if I were going to give a little talk at the beginning of the meeting about you know, the work of the MP, that that would in fact be totally dominated by this issue, as in fact turned out to be the case, because this is an issue which has totally totally flabbergasted the public. They are absolutely up in arms about wanting to keep Park Howard in public ownership and they're absolutely behind the campaign to do so. And it was quite clear that that was the message they were bringing to this meeting. So the vast majority of people who came here tonight, apart from one or two individuals with, with personal problems who wanted to raise those, were here very much because of the, the park. And even those who'd come about other pro problems like roads were 100% behind us about the park. So that's how the meeting came about. And it was a good opportunity um, to engage with members of the public and, and to get the public reaction to what's been going on. And how will you be taking those questions forward? What will you be doing to implement? Were there any suggestions or were there any kind of outcomes or you know, um, recommendations? I, I think uh, what people wanted, they do want clarity. They want to know exactly what can and can't be done with the park. They want to know if the county can um, you know, either sell it and uh, have planning permission for any sorts of activities or if there are restrictions which would stop that. So they want clarity on that. But more than anything, they want proper consultation with the public. And the public uh, are very clear that they want to keep this asset open to the public. They don't want to see it go into private hands, therefore possibly restricted in its access, therefore um, possibly nobody allowed in unless they pay, um, all of this sort of thing, or perhaps not even being a park at all. Um, and it's absolutely clear that they're very, very worried. And they want this on the top of the County Council's agenda. They don't want it to be just something for uh, the people who live immediately next door to it. They want it to be something to be shared by people across the whole of Llanelli, which means people living in the town area of Llanelli and the people living in the rural area of Llanelli, as well as anybody else in the county who comes this way. Um, and that's what they want to see. And you've started a petition for the park, which we've looked at online. Mm. It's gathering momentum, over a thousand uh, signatures within two days. Mm. How is that going? Well, we've had over 16,000 hits on the Facebook page, which really does show the level of interest. A huge number of people are obviously clicking on and looking at it because when they see the word Park Howard, it's something which hits home and they, and they want to do something about. So I think that it's certainly gathering momentum. Today, we've uh, talked to people about doing a paper petition as well for those people who perhaps don't go online very often. And we've had several volunteers already from this meeting wanting to, to go out straight away on that campaign. So it's definitely uh, something that the public do feel strongly about, but what they want more than anything is that then the County Council does listen. And I think there is some concern about the way structures work in the County Council. There is some concern about the lack of communication there's been, both with the public and with the Park Howard Association and with individual councillors who are sometimes not told um, what's happening by the cabinet members who have a portfolio just like a minister would have for a particular responsibility. And it seems that a lot of the talking and decision making is not coming back for proper scrutiny by a broader group of councillors. And that's really quite a worry about the functioning of the council. I think we all were very uh, concerned about reports earlier um, this year, uh, last year in fact, about the way that the council operates. And this is the classic example of the type of thing that can happen if you don't have the transparency. Now there's been a lot of talk about reform and what we would like to see now is that reform actually being implemented in the council so that this type of thing isn't happening. 
And I spoke to Leanne Woods uh, yesterday evening at the Kamal and Quinns, mm. and she mentioned the lack of transparency uh, historically, mm. and uh, she pointed to a new administration, a change, and hopes that that might change. Um, obviously, you have a lot of Labour mm. members within that uh, um, office there in Carmarthenshire County Council. Will you be um, expressing the concerns of the people here tonight to them over what appears to be a lack of transparency in the dealings with Park Howard? Oh, absolutely. Um, I've certainly never pulled any punches with colleagues if I think they need to do things in a different way. And certainly on this issue now, it's quite apparent that not only is there a lack of transparency about where um, things are being done and who's making these decisions, but sometimes I feel there's actually a lack of vision and there hasn't been the leadership on the issue of the parks in the county that I would have liked to have seen. People are asking questions about Pembrey Country Park. Is this being run as it should be run? This isn't being run very well. What's the future for here? Are you going to keep this in public ownership? People are asking very similar questions as they're asking about Park Howard. And so I think it is a much broader issue of lack of vision and lack of leadership on the regeneration portfolio, particularly in relation to parks. And we've seen tonight, we saw the centenary celebrations. The magazine was full of images, children playing, activities, tea, teddy bears, picnics. There's obviously a love, there's a will to do these things within the community. Clannetli is known for its hardworking, uh, mm. you know, mm. capacity. Private investment coupled with um, public office if you like is that something that we we should consider i know it's it's a it has to go through the due process but should we also be looking at trying to get into partnership with private individuals i think it's all a question of control the county council must be absolutely clear that it is in control and it's not going to be taken for a ride by anybody because that's what the public would resent most of all is to see that perhaps somebody is profiteering in a totally unsuitable way. So what the county needs to do is to decide exactly what it wants, what the tempering process might be and then get people to do the proper way of doing things to, to get um, the, the services offered and I think most people would say some discreet form of commercialisation would have a place in places like Park Howard, like in Pembrey, because people do like to you know, have snacks and cafes and this type of thing. So uh, nobody is saying that you could never have an arms length organisation or a private organisation providing some sort of service, but that needs to be totally under the control of the county in terms of the future of the park for posterity. Neil Griffith, thank you very much for talking to the Herald this evening. Thank you.